just about to uh, celebrate our 75th anniversary. Obviously 75 years is a long time and the company's been through many uh, transitions in the period. It was started by my father uh, and his partner Dick Shirtliff in 1946. They were both ex-soldiers um, who came out of the army after the war and they started this uh, water supply company. And the company has grown enormously uh, in the last 20-25 years. There's been a lot of um, initiatives taken but also obviously we've grown with the economy of Kenya. Today we are a group of about 80 branches uh, in eight countries. About 50 years ago we were selling about 700 pumps a year and this year we're going to do over 200,000. We needed a completely fresh approach to distribution and um, a greenfield um, a, a project like this was really the only way to go. But it was essential to the future of the company that we sort of rethought our whole distribution and that was the sort of genesis of the origins of this, uh, this site. So the new warehouse is the embodiment of something that we have planned and thought about and strategized for a very long time. You see, the purpose of Davis and Shirtliff says this, to improve people's lives by providing water and energy solutions across Africa. And that last bit where it says across Africa expresses the ambitions that we have at Davis and Shirtliff. And so when we talk about our purpose, what we're talking about is uh, Tatu making that possible. You need a central place where you can store equipment and from that place you can then, we have this hub and spoke idea and things come together and then they go out to the whole of Africa. And that is the whole idea of why we felt that uh, we needed to invest in a development like this. I was uh, tasked with the role of uh, supervising the design, the build and subsequently operating our new distribution centre here at Tartu. We wanted a very efficient and obviously fit for purpose building but we also wanted it to be striking and uh, fit in with our brand. We started construction in about July 2019 and it took just over a year so we finished around uh, September 2020. The building is 10,000 square metres. The warehouse is about 150 metres long and about 60 metres wide. It's been fitted with world-leading equipment and technology. Tartu City will help us increase our stock holding, reduce stockouts, and with the improved ordering software, make sure we have exactly what we need on the shelves. But the real heart of this distribution centre is the IT. In the last few years, Davison Shirtcliffe has focused heavily on digital innovation. And here at Tartu, we have invested heavily in the physical aspects of distribution, which will connect our digital tools uh, to the capabilities we have to deliver products to our customer products and services, so that we can offer our customers choice at a good price and rapid delivery at the click of a button. And that's why um, we have made this investment in order to take advantage of the opportunities that digital innovation offers today's world. And we can fulfill our goal of improving lives. Distribution is the core competence that one needs in this day and age. We are developing um, the capacity to do e-business and this is the centre obviously um, for distribution throughout the region for e-business. This is sort of the base um, resource that we're using to develop uh, our digital business. This is something we believe is really going to drive the business into the future. We're standing in a brand new state-of-the-art Tattoo facility, which is a big departure from what we had before in the industrial area. When the goods arrive, we are able to drive where they should be loaded using our software, our warehouse management software that we've installed. And when the goods are being picked, they are driven using handheld gadgets that not only ensure that we pick the right item, 
but we also direct the picker to the right aisle. One of the most interesting things we have is our high-reach truck that allows us to stack things four or five levels up. And this is going to improve not only our speed of service, but also the safety of our staff. For a customer, this facility means that we can get goods to them faster and more accurately. In order to attack the African market, you must be able to hold substantial inventory, but most importantly, inventory that is right. And to do that, we have done two things, invested in this vast warehouse and ensure that the warehouse management system that we've put in is able to support our ordering, our distribution, and our dispatch. This will certainly improve service to our customers. Tatu represents to us the possibility of having a world-class infrastructure where we become a, a staging point and one of several hubs we will have around Africa where product comes in and then goes out. And it's got to be done as efficiently as possible. That way we can really dominate the market and we can really serve our customers in the best possible way. Every business, every organization, it's a never-ending journey. We do feel we have a very strong um, uh, uh, basis to grow within Africa and become a, a, a sort of an African brand. But I think the other very important thing is that what we are doing is we're leading um, in our industry, which is a very important industry uh, in terms of technology, in terms of business model, um, and in terms of product. And by doing this, we are uh, uh, improving people's lives because all the products that we sell are beneficial to people's lives. And it's a very sort of uh, powerful driver for us as we uh, aim to develop this business. I think the future for the group is, is very um, uh, uh, bright at the moment, all based basically on this initiative that we're taking at Tartu.